we are getting ready to leave casey is gonna go get his stuff but anyways guys casey is getting ready to come out and we're gonna start driving all right casey i guess let's get going <laughs> to be driving to is that a shop that that your van is at yeah it's a shop so we're gonna pick up his van at the shop and we're gonna drive it straight to my house and we're gonna start looking for the problem see see what's going on um what do you expect do you think we'll find it today we're gonna find it yeah for sure okay i like the positive <laughs> attitude let's just stick with the positive we by the way so here here we are here it's really nice uh countryside here good thing is it's actually not far away i really like open areas like this this is actually kind of how i live it's so peaceful you know just amazing but anyways guys see you at the actual pickup location we are here and it's raining and i'm always it's always raining it is always raining guys every time four days in a row it's like raining i gotta get a shop man here's a really cool van thank you so, so this is yours right yes sir all yours yep the whole beast here oh yeah it's looking cool all right i guess let's back it out of here right. before we uh we melt <laughs> i always say i made out of sugar i gotta really get myself out of this rain all right guys we're gonna start uh heading down to my place hey guys this van's not starting so we gotta jump it there is a hood lodge right there You got it? Okay. Yeah. Guess what? I got this thing with a dead battery yesterday. Did you? Yes. Your hood's not popped. Oh, it's the, uh, it's under the... Oh, I know where it is. Oh. oh, that's a positive right there, that far one. This one is positive? Yeah. I know, it's really confusing. So, no, no, you gotta do it here. Oh, yeah? Yes. So you don't have to take your floor plan up, uh, panel apart. So do it here. I'll show you. Guys, if you're trying to get jumped, put a negative there. And put your positive right here. You have to kind of like... I don't want to get shocked. <laughs> well, I don't want to get burned. Really, really will not be getting shocked. For something i got my code reader with me not the typical one i use i left my icar soft in my van did your van uh key in here yep okay let's see hello yeah so it's raining all right so we got it who's gonna be uh following who you're gonna follow me because i got no tail lights so you got gps and stuff you yeah know to go Okay. Yeah, you gotcha. sent me your address, right? All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's go. All right. Can you help me put this in back? <laughs> sure can. <laughs> I'll help you with All that right. other stuff. No, pull it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get that out. Snap it in there. Okay. All right. We need to just drop it. So that's go. That's all good. All right. Let's get your cables. Guys, small world. It is. You know. How do you think I got all my viewers? Right? <laughs> By helping. <laughs> By helping people like yeah. me. <laughs> still, that's the only way you have to do it on YouTube these days. Otherwise, yeah. you can't really make it. <laughs> so, there's the battery box right there. Pretty complicated stuff. So, don't mess up the uh, battery cables. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we're going to put this hood down. We're going to get going. Out his van right there. I don't know why I'm having such a bad visual here. Don't show up. They gotta do it safe, but you can keep it. Top star. Hey guys, check it out. This is my Amazon Music. 
and it actually plays the same way on my my stereo here and it's such great sound in this vehicle it's it's really impressive but anyways guys i want to say something uh let me see let me let me turn this thing down uh, this ear and my my wipers because i'm not really sure how how loud it is or not guys i do want to say something um you know how i live my life guys it's actually by follow my dreams and just basically manifesting a lot of stuff that actually happens in my life and happened and you know what guys everything that i think about or i imagine does happen to the point where it's exciting and scary at the same time because anything that i imagine it's like a dream it actually just comes true um i'm not talking about particularly you know today's situation this is just interesting you know meeting uh, another viewer trying to help him out this is definitely great but everything in my life that happens it's like it happens for a reason there is always something that's behind it so i just basically in my life i you know i go with the flow so today he, you know he calls me up and he's like hey um do you have a ecm and i said yes i have one um and and i said what do you need it for and he was basically needed for 2008 so I asked him, what's it really doing? And he told me, and I said, it's not an ECM. That's what he was told by a mechanic. And, um, you know, I never really want to help him out and actually show him exactly what's wrong. So it's too bad it's raining. I mean, look at this, guys. I turn up my uh, windshield wipers and it's really, really raining like that. Uh, I actually had a bunch of other plans planned because, you know, I just got this new car here. Just, you know, put it down on title and stuff like that. And thinking that, okay, up to the next day i gotta you know sell it and then you know this happens so i switched gears and now i'm doing this here and that's the way i try to live my life just kind of like um you know with the going with the flow and trying to live my life on my own terms but when i say life is kind of like it's kind of like a dream you know you never know which one you're gonna get <laughs> I always come up with stuff like that like uh, remember from the movies like you know it's like uh, life is a box of chocolates you never know which one you're gonna get but that's kind of like how it is guys life is like a dream you never know what you're gonna get so think of something good that way you'll get something good so a lot of times I imagine it's like oh I want this and I actually end up getting it so I'm kind of thinking it's the same thing if I imagine something bad that might happen in my life then that's gonna happen too which is kind of scary but I'm trying to, even like with all the successes and all the good stuff that's happening, I'm actually trying to keep that under the control. Like I'm trying to a little by little think of the stuff because if everything hits hits me at once, that's gonna be like way overwhelming as well. And I will not be ready for it. So I'm trying to just go with the flow guys. But anyways, that's what I wanted to say. I hope I said it, I hope it makes sense. It sure makes uh, sense uh, in my life, but uh, you know, just to make it easier, I guess. Uh, if you imagine a, which kind of car you want, you're gonna get that car. If you're gonna, if you got a certain amount of money in your pocket and you want to buy that car with that money, uh, just as how you can find it. Um, it always happens for me. You just gotta be reasonable. <laughs> you can't be like, you know, with ten dollars in your pocket thinking you're gonna buy yourself a Mercedes. You know what I mean? That's just. Well, actually, shoot, that might actually happen. You know, stay positive. So come and get it if you got it. Got our first problem already. Um, so let me pop my trunk. Hey, I got a safety vest. Yeah. Let's put that instead. Here, try to uh, put it on there. Guys, basically when this problem happens um, that I'm actually about to fix, your van is not going to get power to the alternator and it's not gonna be charging your battery. So. I needed to jump him at the time when he pulled over and the only reason he was able to get far where we are right now which we are almost at my house is because he had like a little charge I don't know what he has but let's let's see what he what, what he has show me that little charger you said you got what do you what kind of charger this is boost okay so ultimately you could charge it and it has some charge yeah it gave us that little extra power okay I don't know who that is over there but um I'm going to tell them that we're gonna get a battery and okay. stuff and uh, get going. But anyways, guys, we gotta pick up a battery at Walmart. Good thing we're not far. We'll pick it up, plug it in, and it should be good. Is your van off? No. Let's turn it off. Okay. Maybe I'll see if you can go for it. See? See if you can go. Oh. Did it just quit on you? It just quit. Okay. I'm gonna walk to that other guy and let him know like what's going on. Okay. And that's it. Uh, I let these people know, and uh, we're actually getting ready to go. So, let's go and uh, get driving. Guys, 
this is how my expedite life was. You know the problem was? There was nobody there to help me. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm able to help you at least. Yeah. Because this stuff happened to me all over the place. <laughs> Last time it happened was Texas. But anyways guys, we're gonna drive to Walmart. Hey guys, we made it to my house. We're getting ready to uh, take the battery out out of that Sprinter right there, which is my daily driver. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna install it in his van and get it here we decided to save a little money guys there's no reason to buy batteries he's got three at home right yeah so why buy another battery we're gonna pull this thing out we're gonna get it here guys in this video we're just kind of getting settled in you can see it's raining it's not gonna stop today it's already like what like about like five o'clock what do we have 521 so by the time we get here it's gonna be six and it's gonna be starting getting dark and wet so hopefully tomorrow is gonna be a better day um i'll tell you about the weather situation tomorrow but but anyways tomorrow's video guys whatever it is we're gonna go ahead and start working on it man i'll yeah. just go pick you up we'll get it done that'll be good yeah hey guys we're here it's still raining surprisingly i parked so far away um but we got my car battery right here it's brand new and we're gonna put it in his van Do you need a tool or you got it? I got one right here from last time. <laughs> oh, okay. I have one with like um, a deep socket on it if you need it. Oh, that's all right. I'll just loosen it up. This thing is, it's like a wrench and a socket. Oh, okay, good, good. That's actually good because, yeah, yeah this is really saves you time. Yeah. By doing that. So guys, this is how you take out a battery. It's very simple. And here's the negative terminal and the positives on this side so try not getting those confused <laughs> this is why this fan is not working here's your fuse panel that's the one that goes bad um i don't have my light in here but that's what goes bad Oh, we just gotta get that one. You good or you need some help? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, thanks. They're strong. Yeah. These are heavy batteries. They are. Well, guys, this is the life of a Sprinter owner. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another. That's right. I just had somebody that I helped. We went through all this ordeal, helping out, everything worked. And then the DF light comes on and he's got four starts left. And once those four starts are gone, that's it, he can't start his van anymore. So what is his options? The Mercedes charges $7,000 for a new system and nobody really repairs them. The only thing is DIY style it, replace the parts yourself or delete the whole system to begin with. And reprogram the computer. So you got it in here the right way, see that much. Yeah, negative on this side. <laughs> yes, yes. All good now. I believe the fuse is going to be attached somewhere probably on a negative terminal uh, underneath the van, kind of like the bolt style, like oh, where yeah. stuff comes in. It's going to yeah. like a like a like a fuse with attached with bolts. Okay. So sense. yeah, and then like once you replace that, you should get the life back into the van. Awesome. And if that don't work, we got to replace the fuse panel. Okay. Oh, it's got life. Look at that. We like life. <laughs> and that's a strong battery. That thing's going to get you at least like, I don't know, 250, 300 miles yeah, uh, of awesome. driving with a bad alternator. Yeah, hopefully not bad. <laughs> well, I drove with a bad alternator a couple times. Yeah. And because it's a glow plug system, you can actually keep driving because it is not spark plugs. With spark plugs, you need power to the spark plugs. Uh, these vans, uh, with glow plugs, you don't need any power to them. By the way, you just pedometer just uh, went off, but I'm thinking it's because uh, let's it's because um, it's supposed to actually because it's not started. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. Because you're yeah, I just turned it back on by turning yeah. on the lights. So what do you use this van for? Uh, travel. So you travel in this thing? Yeah. Yeah, we like, do. I'm going to Daytona. I was supposed to leave tonight. What was you going to do uh, Daytona Supercross. What is Supercross? It's uh, dirt bikes. 
Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So like motocross racing. Yeah, exactly. Great. Indoors, uh, One of my viewers is a motocross racer. Oh, really? Yeah, he brought his dirt bikes and rode them around my property one time. Yeah, that's, I'm converting this. So we got a garage in the back. I actually have a light that uh, apparently I didn't bring with me uh, to actually look at it, but it's okay. We'll, t we'll check it out later. Yeah. Let's uh, let's drive it back. I'll follow you. Do you know where you're going now? Yeah. Okay. If anything, I'll I'll guide you. All right. Cool. I'll call you actually. Good deal. Make it Thank easier. You. You're welcome. Hey guys, we got to get some fuel before we uh, keep going. So look at the cheap fuel prices in uh, South Carolina. Two twenty nine per gallon of diesel. That's like my favorite gas station so now it's time for me to actually hey guys we're at the gas station this car has like safety locks it locks it all the time so look at that 229 by the way this is where you fuel up hey Casey where you at I think he's already inside making a payment on it so I'm gonna jump the gun Remove that thing. Hey guys, check out this van. There's some kind of, I think there's um, a generator underneath and possibly some other heating type of source, but we're going to do a full review on it once we actually fix it. That way it's gonna make sense. But you can see there's a tailpipe here and you can see underneath. I think you really can't see much right now. Oh, it's okay, we'll get it. Hey guys, we're about to fuel up. Take my vest, go home. Hey, r actually, you're in like good luck. I have a charger at home, like a good one to charge a battery. I'll stick it oh, in charge. Oh, really? So we'll get yours charged up. Nice. Yeah. Good deal. And I'll stick mine back. <laughs> yeah. That's my that's my daily driver sprinter right there. Good, man. Thank I don't know you. what I would do without a sprinter. I don't you either. You just do so much <laughs> with it. You can do everything. I hold yeah. furniture in this thing, dirt bikes. Hey, guys, in case you're new to my channel, this is what I do. I help people with the Sprinter stuff, you know. Subscribe, check out my videos. On my main page, you can see season one Sprinter videos. Season two, season three, season four, and now we're on season five. I was mainly doing the T1Ns, that's like a 2004 to 2006 body style videos, but now we're making it to where we're doing NCV3s, these uh, 2007 uh, and up type of Sprinters. And this happens to be 2008. Yeah. And yeah. you're lucky, because even though he's got a particular diesel filter, it's a $3,800 part that goes bad really quickly. And you have like four miles. Technically, it should be bad by now. He could actually delete it without having to reprogram his computer. So that's a money saver. Guess what, Casey? I also have the Mercedes computer at home. The actual really? Mercedes diagnostics unit. Yes. No I could actually reprogram that unit if you need to. I didn't say nothing, but I mean, <laughs> there's only so much you could do. You know, there's yeah. a lot of stuff. But uh, currently I need to uh, do something to the software because it, like last time the hand tree was like not loading correctly. Uh, but on a better day that, you know, we'll, we'll actually run the diagnostics. I got the thing installed in that sprinter. You see that computer mount? So I put the, you know, oh, yeah. inside. Uh -huh. So that's a RAM mount. I put a laptop on there and I could actually pull up right that. beside you from the left side yeah. and we'll plug it up. Oh, okay. We'll run all the codes, delete what we need to, Aha, get you like squared it. away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, you don't even know that. No. But you know what? This is something new for me this year. I solved all these problems without a computer. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if I need it, but we do need it not for diagnostics, but reprogramming. Keys, ECUs, and you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So at least we could actually have something. Good deal. I can't say that I ever programmed one. Yeah. But if you're just busted. <laughs> Worth a shot. It's worth a shot. So, you yeah. know, we'll figure something out. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we're going to go home and catch you there. Guys, and we're here. The sun is down, but we're here. The van made it safely here to my property. In case you guys are new, this is my commercial property here. Where I plan to open up my car dealership. Hopefully sometimes this year. That's what I'm hoping for. Like, I will be definitely trying to do that. And this is going to be one of my first cars that I'm actually getting ready to sell. My cars are gonna be nice and clean like this, hopefully. Um, but anyways, here's the van. Plenty of room here. It's a rubber mat I use to uh, get underneath the car. 
so we just need the battery um oh you're getting this disconnect already cool yeah. awesome so i guess let's get mine over there and yours on that other side all right so anyways guys we're done for today as you can see not much daylight stuff yeah so what do you want to say thank you <laughs> thanks for this guy right here <laughs> when you i tell my kids me. that that's what they tell me i'm like so what do you got to say now yeah. thank you dad okay you're welcome that's all i got but say. anyways guys we're gonna see you next time tomorrow and we're gonna be diagnosing the sprinter problem and hopefully we could get to the bottom of it because there's a lot of things going on but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this long video i don't know how long it is but thank you for watching take care of yourself god bless you and please subscribe to this channel and hit a like if you appreciate this video just hit a like anyways i yeah. try very hard in my videos hit the like button <laughs> thank you and guys and smash that subscribe button oh yeah that's that's right <laughs> my name take is care, serge zamaletta i'm 37 years old and yes i experienced success after buying my first home for cash Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter Expedite or business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.